evening. This is Shayna, your teacher from EspressoEnglish.net, and today I'm really excited to bring you a new video series called Phrasal Verbs in February. So every day during the month of February, I'm going to post a lesson teaching you one phrasal verb in what I hope is an interesting and unique way. So I'm happy you're joining me today and make sure to keep watching my channel because there will be a new video every day this month. So before I get started and explain what we're going to do today, I wanted to tell you that I actually have a course called Phrasal Verbs in Conversation, which aims to teach you 500 of the most common phrasal verbs that we use all the time in spoken English. If you want more information about the Phrasal Verbs in Conversation course, then click the um, link in the corner of this video or in the description and you can see the lesson list and a free, a free sample lesson and get more information and sign up for the course. All right, so are you ready to learn some phrasal verbs? Today's phrasal verb is track down. Now, this is how these lessons are going to work. I'm going to show you a phrasal verb, and I have here three possible definitions of the phrasal verb. Only one is correct, okay? Only one is correct. So what I want you to do is, as you're watching the video, try to identify which is the correct answer, which is the correct definition of the phrasal verb. But we don't normally see phrasal verbs just in isolation. We see them in context. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a sentence or explain a situation that uses this phrasal verb, and I want you to try to understand the phrasal verb from the context, okay? So think about the situation and then guess which of these three definitions is the right one for this phrasal verb, all right? You can put your answer in the comments and at the end of this lesson, I'll also give some more examples and you can also write your own example in the comments because it's really good when you learn any new vocabulary word, any new phrasal verb, any new expression, try to put it into practice in your own English. All right, are you with me? Okay, so today's phrasal verb is track down and these are the three possible definitions. Okay, remember only one will be correct. To monitor someone or something, these abbreviations mean someone or something. I had to use the abbreviation so I had enough space on the board. Find someone or something after looking for it or use someone or something in a negative way. So which one is correct? Okay, let me give you a situation. Imagine that you're at work and you're going to start a big project. And this project is similar to another project that the company did in the past. So your boss asks you, please track down all the documents from the previous project and send them to me, all right? Please track down all the documents from the previous project and send them to me. So based on that situation, which is the correct meaning for track down? Is it A, B, or C? if your boss asks you to track down all the documents from a project that the company did in the past. What do you think? Do you have your answer yet? Well, the correct answer is B, to find someone or something after looking for it. So if you're going to track down documents, then you're going to have to look for them. Maybe you'll check the uh, physical files in your company's archives. Maybe you'll search in the computer files for these documents. You're going to have to look in different places. It will probably take you some time and find these documents that your boss has requested. So track down means to look for something and then find it. We can use this with objects like the documents or with people. So here's an example of using track down for finding a person. 
Let's say you're at school or at your university and you want to talk to a professor. So you go to the professor's office, but she's not there. And then you go to her classroom, but she's not there. And then you go to the library, but she's not there. And finally, you find her in the dining hall, in the cafeteria. So you could say, I tracked down my professor. Uh, she was in the dining hall. That means I was looking for her for some time in various places, and I finally tracked her down. I finally found her in the cafeteria. All right? Another example of using track down for finding a person is when there is a crime committed and the police try to track down the suspect, the person who they believe committed the crime. So the police will go to that person's house and they will go to that person's place of work. They will uh, look in all the typical places you might expect to find that person. They are trying to track him or her down. They're trying to find him or her. All right. So I hope uh, I hope you got a good sense of what the phrasal verb track down means, and now it's time to put it into practice. So write a comment and tell me about something you tracked down in the past or something you're currently trying to track down. I have a good example. I recently reorganized my computer and I cleaned it up and deleted some old files, and now I'm trying to track down some audios that I recorded uh, a while ago in the past, and I don't remember where I stored them, where I saved them in my computer, especially now that I've reorganized my file system. So I'm trying to track down some audio files on my computer. So how about you? What's something you tracked down in the past or you're currently trying to track down? Make sure to leave a comment so that you can practice this phrasal verb. Again, if you'd like more phrasal verbs, if you want to learn uh, 500 of the most common phrasal verbs that native English speakers use, then make sure to check out my Phrasal Verbs in Conversation course. I think you'll really enjoy it. That's all for today's lesson, and I hope you'll join me tomorrow for the next February Phrasal Verbs lesson. Bye for now.